Cheers is Nerd Rooms here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's topic because aside from the fact that I am back with another HD concept topic, I can finally show you an actual combined hemoperfusion and hemodialysis treatment with the real blood circulating within the bloodlines. Isn't that cool and amazing? Also, I would like to thank everyone for watching my videos, especially the hemoperfusion video and my other HD concept videos. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, and video suggestions. I will try to cover everything that you've suggested in the comments section. For the meantime, here's a follow-up video of my hemoperfusion video an actual combined hemoperfusion and hemodialysis treatment. As previously discussed, you have to set up the machine and prime the bloodlines first before proceeding to priming the hemoperfusion cartridge. You can check out my videos on how to set up the hemodialysis machine and how to connect acid and bicarb and coupling to dialyzer. Unpack the hemoperfusion cartridge. So this is now the cartridge with our improvised cartridge holder. You can lower the blood flow ahead to 100 ml per minute. Change the priming solution to 500 ml D5 water. Remove the arterial end line from the dialyzer. Using the opener, open the cap of the bottom of the cartridge. Hook the arterial end line to the bottom of the cartridge. Open the other cap. Before starting the blood pump, drain the sterilant first. Then start the blood pump. Now you are rinsing it with D5 water. Once consumed, stop the blood pump and change it to 1 liter PNSS. Open the connecting tube. Connect the blue end to the top of the cartridge. Before connecting the other end to the dialyzer, prime the connecting tube first by starting the blood pump and stop until it reaches the arterial end. Then connect it to the dialyzer red to red. Since the setup is in recirculation mode, detach the arterial and venous patient's end. Hook the blue end to the bin and make sure the clamp is open. Attach the arterial end somewhere and the clamp should be closed. Start the blood pump and now you're rinsing it with 1 liter PNSS. Once consumed, stop the blood pump and change the 1 liter PNSS to 1 liter heparinized PNSS. Start the blood pump and now you're rinsing it with 1 liter heparinized PNSS. This time, only consume 700 ml heparinized PNSS and recirculate the remaining 300 ml. Once the 700 ml is consumed, stop the blood pump and attach back the arterial and venous patient's end line. Then start the blood pump and recirculate for 20 minutes. You can increase it to 200 ml per minute for the last 5 minutes. Once done, you're ready to hook it to patient.
If you have noticed, the cartridge holder is a bit improvised since our machine do not have an extra clamp for that. How to do that? That would be a separate video then. Keep updated. That's it. Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, don't forget to click like, leave a comment for video suggestion, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned as I take you with me in discovering nursing career. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.